Tonight, we are honored to have with us His Excellency, the Deputy Council General, Mr. Gershon Kedar. Congresswoman, Congresswoman Shakowski, State Senators and Representatives, Mevan Dusan, Rabbi Schwarz, Rabbi Moskowitz, Dr. Nasatir, Rabbanim, ladies and gentlemen. We are gathered here tonight to pay our respects to the victims of the recent horrific terrorist attacks in Mumbai, and particularly the murderous and cowardly massacre at Beit Chabad. Putting the two words together, Chabad and in India, has a personal meaning for me. I was stationed at the Israeli embassy in New Delhi when Israel first established diplomatic relations with India in 1992. These were the years when India was becoming a popular destination for so many young Israelis. As an organization which knows how to recognize the needs of Jews, Chabad started their activity there even then, when two young Chabadniks were sent to New Delhi from New York three days before Pesach to organize the first communal seder ever for Jews and Israelis in New Delhi. The whole event was organized by these shlichim who took over the kitchen of a hotel in New Delhi, koshered it, and led an unforgettable Lel Seder, which was so meaningful for the more than 250 people who participated. This is one experience my wife and I will never forget, and it so clearly epitomized the work of Chabad. Since then, Chabad activity in India expanded, and more and more shlichim have assisted many more Israelis and Jewish tourists to feel what it means to be a Jew, in every corner of the world. I am sure each of you has come across the wonderful work of Chabad at one point or another in his life or in her life. But whoever thought that we would reach a day when, instead of celebrating their great achievements, we would rather gather to mourn the death of Chabad Shlichim in Mumbai. The work of Rabbi Gabriel Holzberg and his wife Rivka, Zichonam Livracha, living in a place without a strong Jewish community, was for them surely a daily personal sacrifice. But it was so worthwhile for them, for every day was one of tikkun olam, by their embracing their fellow Jews, enriching their lives, and making them feel at home. And with them found their death, the other Kedoshim, each with a story, a family, and a future, which will now tra tragically not come about. Jewish institutions, synagogues, and embassies of Israel around the world have been the targets of terrorist attacks in the past. For its part, Israel has shown that the most decisive and effective response to terrorism is not deterrence, for how can terrorists willing to commit suicide be deterred, but rather through a, pre through a proactive synergy of both defensive and preemptive activities with intelligence gathering at its heart. And Israel is, of course, ready to share her experience with all countries facing the scourge of terror. But it is also poignant to ponder how each and every one of us can meaningfully respond to terrorism. And the appropriate response comes from the very values cherished by the victims themselves. Life, respect for every human being, love for every fellow Jew, and above all, Jewish unity. This is what the terrorists wanted to snuff out, but the deaths of the victims command us to promote these values even more. The terrorists want to destroy. We will answer through Tikkun Olam. <laughs> terrorists want us to live in continual fear, but we refuse. And just as in Israel, after terrorist attacks, Israelis deliberately return so quickly to the coffee shops, restaurants, and buses, so Chabad will surely, Bezrat Hashem, speedily renew their work in Mumbai and rebuild the Chabad house better and bigger than ever before. And we will all carry on celebrating life. And later this month on Hanukkah, we will, with the help of Chabad, publicize the victory of light over darkness all around the world. And it is incumbent upon us all to further the mission these Kedoshim were, were trying to promote, that of Jewish unity. 
Unity between Israelis and non-Israelis, and between religious and non-religious. Throughout our history, we have witnessed so many tragedies, and only by our unity have we overcome. Let us be energized by the memory of the Kedoshim of Mumbai and continue to promote Jewish unity and tikkun olam in our daily religious and communal lives. Let this be their legacy for us all. May they rest in peace. Yehi Zichram Baruch. And the Rebbe 